Uh, actually, my name is Benjamin Arazi. Um, I'm the I'm the uh, the local leader of TechSoup in uh, in in uh, New York. And uh, if I'll be sharing my screen, I don't know. Do you, are, you, are you seeing my screen? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, awesome. You know, and uh, TechSoup Connect is a global network. You know, it's a network of uh, tech for good meetups. It, it has to do with uh, technologies that helps uh, uh, non-profit. And TechSoup also is a non-profit that help other non-profit get in the get implement and use technology effectively you know in so the next slide so we have values you know and uh, we maintain these values you know, we welcome everyone. Everyone is welcomed, and and we put community first. And we are here to support each other, like you know, like what we we're discussing earlier on. You know, uh, we are here to support one another. You know, and that support can be uh, through the experience you have, or you know, knowledge you have you know, ideas you have in one thing or the other, you know, can be of help to someone, um, most especially the nonprofit. The, the next value is that we, we build strong nonprofits. And technology is one of our tools. You know, uh, TechSoup has a lot of uh, uh, technologies that, uh, you know, that help nonprofit like our, you know, our organization. We're using uh, um, some of those uh, softwares and uh, you know, discounted uh, uh, tools from TechSoup. So we invite participations. Like everyone has something to learn and to contribute. We we'll talk about that. You know, everyone has something to learn and to contribute. We actually emphasize that so much because being a nonprofit, you know, the, the, the areas that some of us will be, um, have knowledge on and that knowledge can be of uh, a good help to some people that did not, you know, have such knowledge. So. We invite everyone to participate in it. We treat each other with kindness and respect. So let's stand now. Okay, so this is uh, uh, who we'll say that we need your help. You know, this is exactly what we were talking before. You know, you know, like uh, you can anyone can plan event. You know, you can come up with uh, with uh, anything you think that can benefit can benefit nonprofit, like uh, like this tech scoop uh, tech soup, uh, uh, nonprofit program. Some some leaders in my area actually did not even know much about it, uh, and some of them are leaders in nonprofit organizations, and so I have to you know bring them into that and let them know what TechSoup can do for them. TechSoup connects you with donated and discounted products. You know, there's a lot of uh, products that uh, TechSoup can connect a nonprofit. You know, and I, I believe you, you said that you, your organization is using software from uh, TechSoup. Is it what you said? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, likewise, our organization, there's a lot of um, organization that is actually doing that. Uh, I, I knew some, um, a lot of churches in, you know, in Mohawk Valley, in Utica area in New York are using 
uh, tech suit product. So, so software, hardware, projector, hotspot, internet hotspot, refurbished hardware, and so much more. So, um, tech, uh, tech suit connect you or connect any nonprofit uh, with donated and discounted product. Now, these are the these are the companies that tech uh, tech will help nonprofit to get uh, affordable prices. You know the you talk you I know you talk about the Zoom. Actually, our church uses Zoom and uh, and the mobile. Uh, Bitcoin. Our, actually, our church use that. And uh, Adobe, most most of these uh, companies, you know, the nonprofit can get uh, a very discount uh, rate and a affordable prices, you know, because of the uh, the relationship you know text you have with them. With TechSoup, a nonprofit with 10 staff saves. Now you look at uh, my screen, you'll see that, uh, see how much, uh, you know, a nonprofit can save from these products. And fees, uh, some of the administration fees actually are yearly, crowd suspicions. TechSoup also help, you know, in answering questions about uh, databases and software because I mean they, they have a uh, people professional actually have knowledge on those things uh, have uh, questions about digital engagement design and web building plus everything else all from a nonprofit perspective and um, you can get most of those uh, those questions from the site address below forums.techsoup.org. And um, there's a lot of, actually, there's a lot of uh, uh, information, you know, you can get as a nonprofit from uh, TechSoup, Tech Group, you know, they are knowledgeable on helping, you know, people. And they can also schedule time you know, uh, you know, to talk with a nonprofit and help them to, you know, build some things up. And uh, TechSoup also have a, a kind of a course, online course that they can teach a nonprofit. You know, if there's a nonprofit that don't have uh, basic knowledge on computers and um, everything, in the God of technology, they will be able to uh, help. Now, in, in also, I don't think also that will help the nonprofit when it comes to a, um, knowledge of many things. You know, TechSoup encourage nonprofit to join events and connect with others. There's a lot of nonprofits, uh, change makers who are using technology for social good, you know. So one of the things also actually I've liked uh, also in TechSoup is that it connects you with uh, nonprofits organizations that are doing something uh, that's, that you can, someone can learn from and also you know, make use of their ideas in their own nonprofit. 
and uh, some of this uh, some of this event are actually beneficial for uh, for nonprofits. So they, they they actually connect you. Like if you go to event .org, you see a lot of uh, uh, events scheduled to take place even 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 till two thousand and twenty two. You know, uh, I remember some months ago, I I joined one, you know, in Nigeria, Lagos, precisely. Um, the presenter was doing, uh, you know, teaching how to design uh, flyers and for nonprofit. So, you know, some of these uh, events enables you and uh, help you to learn some things that ordinary you may you may not have knowledge of. So I have to. I want to. I want to. Okay, I. Sorry, actually, this is where where we are stopping for today. You know. Uh, so I don't know, do you have any questions, sir, or contribution in what I just say? Um, well, no, I, we've taken advantage of uh, uh, licenses for some of the applications that you show there. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, depending upon the product, um, We've done uh, uh, Adobe uh, Premiere Elements uh, as well as uh, Adobe Acrobat, uh, and we've used. Uh, I'm not sure we've gotten uh, licenses for uh, WordPress. Uh, okay that might be handled through uh, the people who actually are hosting uh, a couple of different websites that we have. Uh, so they may be providing that part. Um, but we've done uh, uh, a fair amount of uh, video editing of classes that, that we've had uh, given. And um, so we've had to use uh, a number of licenses of uh, uh, Premier Elements. Uh, you know, I just, from my personal standpoint, have my own uh, license of um, what's called the Adobe Creative Suite. Uh, so I use the the full version of uh, Premiere uh, and do that. Uh, I've looked into hardware okay. uh, on TechSoup, but unfortunately the, uh, the products that I'm interested in are really a, a small scope of what you know, we really would consider and uh, the uh, configuration of those products uh, just are, are not strong enough that we would want to use, uh, you know, the computer systems, for example, uh, just aren't uh, uh, powerful enough to really uh, provide the uh, level of capability that, that we really need. So, uh, you know, hardware we've not really purchased at all from, uh, from TechSoup. Um, whereas the, you know, the software licenses have been uh, a big uh, savings for us. Uh, awesome. Yeah, that's been, that's been a big plus. Um, and you know, to be honest with you, the, I looked at uh, some training that uh, 
uh, TechSoup had offered and uh, the training was just so basic that uh, really wasn't any you know benefit you know for me um, so that's not really something I'm uh, considering that much anymore um, you know if the training was uh, more in depth okay uh, or more of a, a technical nature uh, than you know, I'd, I'd strongly consider it, but uh, as it stands, yeah, the training just was not really any any big any big plus for us. So uh, that part I'm not really concerned with. Well, um, thank you for your uh, feedback, and um, we really appreciate that. And uh, in regard of the training, you know. Um, yeah, it's basics, and um, but I think you know TechSoup can improve, you know, and um, on the in depth. But I think for now, you know, they're doing it to um, help those that does not have a basic knowledge. Right. You know? Yeah. So and um, and I believe they are listening to us right now. So <laughs> you know. <laughs> right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, you know, I, I believe they, I believe they were actually going to have a, a, a program probably on that uh, aspect that they will be able to uh, go in depth, and um, that will be awesome, you know. And um, so, so once again, I really, um, really appreciate. You say you are using your, 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 you, you are using Zoom. You, you have used Zoom. Yeah, we've um, really expanded with, uh, we're at the, I think it's enterprise level uh, at Zoom. Wow. Uh, with the licenses that we have. Um, we have uh, close to 10 uh, uh, hosting licenses. Uh, for uh, uh, meetings and what two or three licenses for a webinar. Wow. Uh, and we can host uh, uh, up to a thousand uh, webinar and uh, 300 uh, a light, uh, for, at uh, uh, meeting level. And we're running often, uh, well, I myself, you know, often when we're in uh, term uh, okay. for classes that we, that we offer, uh, I will manage uh, three uh, Zoom classes uh, a day. Wow. Monday through Thursday. Uh, and then Friday, there would be a couple. And we have as many as, uh, about five or six people uh, who are doing the same thing, uh, hosting that many. So, what's the name of your nonprofit? We're called uh, Osher Lifelong Learning Insti Institute uh, at George Mason University. Okay. Ocean. And, yeah, OSHA, uh, it's O S H E R, uh, OSHA. Okay. Uh, and then Lifelong uh, Learning Institute. Okay. And we're, we're part of an umbrella organization. There are about, uh, I think, about 120. Uh, OSHA locations across the country, uh, all meant for uh, training uh, for uh, ed training slash education for uh, mainly retired people. Okay. And we're often uh, uh, 
affiliated with a uh, university uh, or a college uh, of sorts. Um, for us, uh, we're with uh, uh, George Mason University, which is a, uh, a state-sponsored school uh, here in Virginia. And we're, we're not actually part of the uh, university, but we get our uh, uh, logistical support okay. uh, from the university and uh, uh, some uh, administrative, uh, although we do have our own uh, administrative staff as well. Awesome. That's great. So how long have you been working with them? I've been with, uh, we call it Ollie for short, uh, O-L-L-I. Uh, and uh, I've been with Ollie for, uh, since uh, January of 2017. Uh, I had a short break uh, for about nine months uh, where I was working with another uh, consulting firm. Uh, and, oh. then, and then came back to, uh, to, uh, uh, to Ollie. We're uh, all of us on staff are theoretically uh, uh, part time, uh, with the exception of the executive director, who is uh, uh, full time. Wow! And and we also have a uh, board of directors that is uh, elected, uh, and they are all. Uh, members of uh, uh, uh -huh. of our uh -huh. local uh, Ollie. Uh -huh. Awesome. Well, um, I really, to be frank, to be honest with you, I I, I really appreciate <laughs> appreciate you being online today. You know, and um, you know, listening to you also is an amazing. Uh, and what you are doing, you know, and um, I don't know if it is okay with you, you know, we'll be glad to allow you to, you know, talk to us in the next meeting, you know, share your experience. I feel like, you know, in the next meeting, you know, it has to do with, you know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, sharing your experience and uh, we can learn from, from uh, from you, how do you navigate, um, handle this uh, program you are you are part of, you know, and um, how do you relate with people, you know, kind of, you know, because sometimes some nonprofit uh, leadership, some people may not actually have a have a way of uh, relating, you know, and uh, we'll be glad to. You know, we're living in a, the world is, you know, there's a lot of things going on in this world right now. And um, we should be able to learn from how, what, how, how do you navigate from one, uh, one issue? I know, you know, in, in your day, daily activities in this place you are walking, how do you relate with people? I think the the the, the team may be relational. How you know how to relate in the place, uh, relate you know in the place of work uh, as a nonprofit. You know how do you uh, navigate there? So I don't know if it will be okay with you or how I can schedule the meeting. The next you know the next meeting will be holding. You know ask you to just. Talk to us. <laughs> right. Well, uh, you know, to be honest with you, uh, I would have to uh, basically put everything through, uh, you know, my supervisor uh, as okay. to whether or not I could speak for the organiza organization. Okay. Um, you know, just for whatever, you know, legal issues there may be. Uh, okay. Uh, but now I'll, I'll, I'll send you my email, 
you know, so that you can let me know when. Okay. When you want to do that, and uh, we'll get you going. Um, and I, and I, another thing also, if um, even if if the if you cannot speak, you know, for organization, you know, if they are not if their policy do not allow that, right? You know, you can speak as an individual. Um, I don't know if that is okay with you, you know, because um, I, I strongly believe that, you know, the amount of experience you have, thank you, sir, uh, the amount of experience you have, our generation, younger generation, <laughs> need to uh need to you know green from it you know and um i, I somewhat believe in learning from the elders right sure. uh, yeah yeah it's, it's it's gonna help us because sometimes we may think that we know it all but the elders that have been ahead of us um have some wealth of knowledge that if we follow the full step you know, we will not make mistakes that we are making or we will make. So, so on, based on that, I'll really be grateful, you know, if you can help out on that area. Okay. And, also, and also, I want to let you know that, you know, the what it's going to be recorded and, you know, uh, sent to the TechSuper uh, YouTube channel. So what you said can benefit anyone, anywhere in the world, you know, because I, I have come to realize that uh, principles work, you know, it's like a law, a law of gravity walk everywhere in respect of where you live, it walk everywhere, you right. know, and I, and I look at, that's how I look at some, I uh, look at advice from the, and the elders and principles. So we'll be very great. We'll be very glad to allow you to uh, address us and, uh, and get ready for some questions because, you know, during the uh, presentation, you know, that may be, uh, that may be some question of which I like asking question, you know, my t-shirt, uh, told me when I was in school that the more you ask questions, the more you learn. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, so so that would, that would be awesome, sir. Do you have anything to say before we close the day? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I'm just making sure I have your... Uh, uh, I saved the chat. Uh, locally and just making sure I have the information from the chat. So, yeah, I do have your email address. Do you know about when something would be scheduled? Um, you know, we can schedule something by December if you want, if it's okay with you. you can do December last, uh, last Saturday of December. Okay. If that is not okay. Well, just choose, you know, let me know, choose uh, any Saturday in December that is okay with you, but usually we go for last Saturday of the month so that we'll give people enough time to. I'm looking at my calendar here. Okay. So that would be the 26th, oh, last Saturday. Yeah, last Saturday. Last Saturday actually is Christmas itself. Oh no! Wow. Okay. Yeah. We'll do it. Oh, sorry. I'm in December. Oh. Okay. We'll do it. Can we? Uh, what of January? Um. January. If it's oh. on a Saturday, I probably would be okay. That would be the 29th. Okay. We'll do it. Um. Uh, but I'll I'll have to check with, you know, again my uh, uh, 
uh, management to see you know whether or not uh, you know I'd, I would be able to. Um, do you always look at uh, ten o'clock? Yeah, if, if yeah, is okay. that time okay? Yeah, yeah, I I think so. Uh, I don't okay. think I'd have right now. I don't have anything else scheduled. Uh, it's okay, sir. I have a couple of different computer groups I meet with on Saturdays, but uh, uh, right now there's nothing scheduled uh, with them, so uh, that's fine. It's okay, sir. I really appreciate it. So um, I'll be uh, looking forward to hearing from you, and um, I'll just get it going. I'll, you know, schedule it. You know, okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate. It. Yes, sir. My pleasure. Okay, well, um, and as I'm great, I'm very grateful that uh, the product you got from TechSoup is uh, is helping you and helping the organization. And um, like the issue about the training, you know, uh, I believe they are hearing us, you know, they can update it. So, right. <laughs> you know, work on that. I actually, I looked into it by myself and I know that uh, it's just basics. So, but as I believe it can be updated, you know. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, nice having a good time with you, sir. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.